This is where his story ends. Whose story? 47's. I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. It's not his funeral. It is. But you didn't get him in Mississippi. No. We got close, but he slipped away. He knew we were on him now. He was running scared. Where'd he go? Where does anyone go for a last desperate roll of the dice? Nice to be back in Civilization 47. It suited me. I had some business to attend to. Those missions out in the sticks may have bought us some time, but things are still deteriorating rapidly. We're still losing agents. You got the briefing? Yesterday. Got the pictures right here. Mohammed bin Faisal Al Khalifa, his scientist Tariq Abdul Latif, and Henry Schmutz of South Africa. Interesting trio. The DNA angle is disturbing. This may tie into the group that's trying to liquidate us. Welcome to Las Vegas, 47. There's a white supremacist from South Africa. His name is Hendrik Schmutz, who is trying to sell some DNA material and lab reports to the wealthy Saudi sheikh. Mohammed bin Faisal Al Khalifa. The Sheikh is working for someone else, but we're not sure who. Our client wants to force them into the open by disrupting the deal. You've got three targets the Africana, the Sheikh, and the Sheikh scientist, who will be there to verify the material. We've been losing a lot of agents lately, 47. Any mission could be a setup at this point. Hello there everyone, I am your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. And today we are going to play a mission called A House of Cards. For this one we will be leaving um, this game's tastefully and well-researched depiction of Mississippi and instead go to Vegas. Which I am sure is going to be pretty interesting, though I will gladly admit that I don't remember this mission all that well. Well, as you just saw, I felt the need to upgrade my sniper rifle. We will be needing it in this mission and in the following one. I also kind of want to upgrade my detonator to make it more long-ranged. Yeah. Indeed. I don't think there is anything else that I need. Because otherwise, yeah, nothing too useful. Even though, seeing how we haven't spent any money this far, I guess we just kind of... Uh, kind of spend our money on whatever we want to spend it. And it's going to work out just fine. Uh, but I think I'm good. So what I want to take with me is definitely my sniper rifle. And that should be it. Let's get started. So as you see, we have three targets in this mission. A Middle Eastern Sheikh. Uh, another Middle Eastern uh, scientist. And a South African neo-Nazi. So... Uh, that should work out pretty well. I find it kind of funny that the neo-Nazi's name is Hendrik Schmutz. Uh, you probably don't know that, but in German the word Schmutz means uh, dirt or filth. I have a reservation. The name is Krups. Hmm. Let's see. There it is. <coughs> Here's your key card. Our new key cards are floor specific, so they only give you access to the floor you're staying on. That's fine. Alrighty then. On behalf of Shamal Hotel and Casino, let me be the first to wish you a very pleasant stay, Dr. Krebs. You know, the uh, recording quality for the voices is not really all that good. <laughs> I gotta notice that. And talking about voices, you might be able to hear it, but I have kind of a cold. So I'm really sorry if I sound kind of, you know, stuffed. Uh, I hope I'll get better soon, obviously. So what we have to do in this mission, as kind of always, is to wait. Yeah. Because it is, once again, as always, very timing based. So that means... 
that that will be a pretty big factor. Now I think the first thing we want to do, and I'm going to make a save here just to be sure, is to get ourselves the uniform of one of the bellboys. Right. So here we have him. And seeing how I don't have an actual gun with me, I'm probably going to sedate him. So let's do this. And now we are him. And I might as well just have killed him, seeing how I'm going to dispose of his body just like that. And I find it unlikely that he's going to survive. But what can I say? Take the suitcase with me again. And then I'm going to get into my hotel room. Which, if I remember correctly, might very well be that one. Yep, in fact it is. I think that from here we will be able to snipe the scientist once he is in his room. So that means now we are going to play the waiting game. So I'll be seeing you in a few minutes. See ya! You know what? Change of plan actually. I think we want a different sniping spot. Now having uh, having killed the bellhop and taken his keycard, uh, which would be that one right there, we can enter every uh, room on this floor. So that means we can get ourselves a better spot. And what we want is the one right here. So now we can go in here. I think we want to come in here anyway. Because in here we are going to kill another target. So that means we might get two birds with one stone. So once again I'm going to make a cut here and I'm going to be back with you in a few minutes. So see ya then. And pretty soon we will have target number one. Yep, that would be that. So that means we can stuff it away again. It's easy as that. You know, it's kind of what I like about this game. That most of the murders look fairly unremarkable, fairly unflashy. And that's a word I probably just made up. Unflashy, my god. <laughs> uh, yet they are... Well, they are efficient. That's pretty much what I'm saying. And that means we have to wait some more. Though I don't think that we will kill the other target in this room right here. Uh, because it might be a better idea to get him in the elevator. So that means I'm going to make another cut here and be seeing you in a minute. So until then, see ya. And here we have our second target. We need to make sure to wait until the elevator is closed, because otherwise the security personnel outside might see us. And we are done with him as well. 